You'd better get back. Father will get cross if he finds us gabbing. I'd better not disturb them. I don't want to risk another scolding. I'd better not disturb them. I don't want to risk another scolding. I'd better not disturb them. I don't want to risk another scolding. Here's the neighbor. That should be it. Let's serve these gentlemen now. There's no one to serve upstairs. And besides, there's still much to do down. No, we'll have to go higher, I'm telling you. But my point is that it's highly improbable that any primate will be able to survive so high up, let alone thrive. And if they were thriving, we wouldn't be looking for them, would we? I say they've taken to the higher ground, and they only come down to steal livestock and game. Look out, chaps. Gentlemen, your drinks? Ah, good on you, lassie. Horst, make yourself useful and pass these around. 
First day, is it? Better make a wish, then. All right, I will. I wish you would tell me what all those maps are for. Ah, that I can grant you. They show all the different locations of an expedition we're planning. And what about you, gentlemen? Well, let me introduce you to my dream team. Horst Sauer, talented anthropologist and frequent but worthy pain in the ass of your mother. Rudolf Jaeger, distinguished ethnologist. And last but not least, Albert Bauer, paleontologist. And yourself? Reinhard Berger, biologist. As Herr Berger says, we're here to train for the Origin Expedition in return for funding for our own projects back home. And for the love of science, eh, Horst? Oh, yes, of course, Erberger. I'm sure none of us would be here otherwise, would we? And what about you, my lovely? Oh, I'm Dana. I'm working here during the holidays, that's all. I see you haven't come just for the view, then. <laughs> oh, no, Fraulein. We're only here for the beer and a pretty smile. That's our trainer out there. Supposed to knock this scraggly lot into shape for the big climb in Balthayar. <clears throat> right. And what's that one of, if you don't mind me asking? That is Baltayar, a remote region in the mountains of northern China. That's where I'll be leading my team in a couple of weeks. And what's this expedition for? Well, keep it to yourself, but the code name is Origin. And if I have my way, it will likely change the way we perceive humanity. I'm curious to know what this Origin expedition is all about, though. If it's not top secret, that is. Put it this way, Fräulein Dana. If and when we discover what we're looking for, you will no doubt remember this conversation as your claim to fame. You will tell your grandchildren that you served the Origin team. The team that discovered none other than the missing link of the superior race of humans, the Australopithecus habilis, the direct ancestor of Homo sapiens. Or, more vulgarly put, the abominable snowman. Oh, I see. Now I get why it's called Origin. 
Whatever we find, whatever we call it, it's likely to send shockwaves all through the world of anthropology. It will help us to explain how we evolved from Australopithecus to modern man, and then became... <laughs> he's off again. Get him started on anthropology, and he's like a bolted horse. I don't think Fraulein Dana wants you to clobber her with your explanations, Horst. <laughs> I might only be a waitress, but actually I find it quite interesting. Well, Fraulein, the Origin Expedition could lead us to a totally new series of studies, or even reveal a new mode of tribal organization, or a micro-society. By the discovery of a specimen that may well have played a major role in the evolution of modern man, Come, gentlemen, here's to the Brown Shadow for generously sponsoring this expedition, which is sure to redefine our understanding of mankind. Oh, I see we're fraternizing with the personnel, gentlemen. Just giving a toast to our generous sponsor, Herr Hertz. May I remind you that this mission, financed by my party, is confidential? Do you know what that means, Dr. Berger? Yes, Herr Hertz. It means, gentlemen, it is strictly forbidden to communicate any details or objectives to anyone outside our circle, let alone to the first waitress to come by twinkling her eyelashes. Fraulein, as soon as you're done here, I suggest you get back to your chores. What a brute. That is one of the inconveniences of working with a heavily politicized private sponsor. But he's just doing his job. And I suppose, like anything else in life, there has to be some compromise to get what one desires. So, think nothing of it, Fraulein. It is the way of science. Indeed, it is the way of the world. The way of the world, Herr Berger? I'm sorry, but in case you do not know, let me tell you what members of the Brown Shadow do to Vagarins like me. They... They smash windows. They assault innocent people for no reason at all. They are fascists and criminals, Herr Berger. With all due respect, don't you feel ashamed to be associated with such... such tyrants? I would be careful when expressing such extreme accusations, Fraulein. There are always overzealous members of any party, always have been. And even so, we are not politicians. We do not claim to save humanity. Our job is to explain how it came about. Why, if the scientific community had to hold progress at every political crossroads, then humanity would never have advanced any further than Homo erectus. Dana! Dana, chop chop. This isn't a French parlor, my girl. 
Yes, Herr Gustav. I... I'd better go. Thank you, gentlemen. I've done all that Herr Gustav told me to do. I'd better go and tell him. There's no one to serve upstairs. And besides, there's still much to do down here. I don't want to let Herr Gustav down. All right. Fine. No more orders and everyone's served. That's the girl. Now listen, Dana. I know, you know, the brown shadow is dangerous, right? So for heaven's sake, Keep your feelings to yourself. And refrain from answering her burger back like you did, eh? The brown shadow is not something you can just chit-chat about. But... Look, it's not safe. And it will only come back and bite you. Mark my words, Dana. Especially in today's climate. I only... Dana, I know. Just be careful. No one wants problems with fascists. You get my drift? And may I remind you that I warned you earlier when you asked me for advice. So I'll tell you one last time. Don't get drawn in. Do you hear me, Dana? So, young lady, you're still after the Academy in the fall, are you not? What you waiting for, then? Get back to your practicing and play us a nice tune while you're at it. All right, then. I will. Thank you, Herr Gustav. Play something melodious this time. It'll make a nice change from the military pieces some of the patrons have been requesting of late. Well, 
Herr Gustav did a pretty good job repairing that key I broke yesterday. What are you doing? I want to catch the light. Oh, uh, gosh, um, I, I hope I haven't... 
Bravo! 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 Bravo. Bravo. Clap! How can you clap? Oh, so you like the noise, do you? Do you? Well, you should be ashamed! Ashamed, I say! To applaud the music of a... of a... of a treacherous Polish separatist! Rebel rousing! It's this kind of rebel rousing that puts the poison of Marxist Bulgarian ideology in the minds of honest people! And those who partake in its vulgarization are accessory to treason! You are drunk, Herr Hoss. <laughs> Out of my way, boy. Come, Fräulein. Best clear off until the dust settles. You should have seen me then, Fräulein Walker. I was so young and eager to witness whatever could happen between Dana and Leon. I needed to know, to be included one way or another. Blasted fight. That's all I need. Don't you have some dolls to dress or something? Shouldn't you be in bed? So, that's the painting Dana thinks Father should buy from Leon. Nice choice. Honestly, Junta is not that good. I'm sure I could do better if only I could practice a bit. So, 
That's the painting Dana thinks father should buy from Leon. Nice choice. He had it coming. Oh, Lenny, why don't you leave the piano to those who actually know how to play it, huh? <sighs> What's the point? I could never compete with Dana. <sighs> What's the point? I could never compete with Dana. <sighs> What's the point? I could never compete with Dana. <sighs> What's the point? I could never comp He had it coming. What's the point? I could never compete with Dana. <sighs> What's the point? I could never compete with Dana. What a fiasco. Not now, Lenny. Go up to your room, Lenny. Don't you have some dolls to dress or something? A blasted fight. That's all I need. Shouldn't you be in bed? <sighs> What's the point? I can never compete with Dana. <sighs> What's the point? I... He had it coming. So, that's the painting Dana thinks father should buy from Leon. Nice choice.
You all right? Yeah, I thought so. It's just that if I had retaliated, I would have lost my job, you know? Believe me, I came this close to not being able to pay for my studies at the Academy after the holidays. Forget it. He was blind drunk. Won't even remember it come tomorrow. All Gustav could see it was in your fault. Besides, you didn't see him after your performance. Ecstatic he was. There are more and more people like that brute. They don't even bother to hide their hatred anymore. It's like they've been given a mission, or perhaps I should say permission, to abuse people like me, as if Vagarins had suddenly become the scourge of society. And we're powerless to act because if we did, we'd lose our home. My parents, they've become a bundle of nerves. They can't sleep at night. Only last week, our shop window got smashed again, and our neighbors, they couldn't care less, and neither could the authorities. I'm sorry. I've upset you, haven't I? You've put my own suspicions into words, Fraulein. Because what you say about the Brown Shadow is true, and that's what worries me. I used to think they were just a bunch of cranks in their ridiculous uniforms. But now I can see these lunatics really are serious. Deadly serious. But you did know who was behind the Origin Expedition. Never gave it much thought, to be honest. Only met Huss and the scientists today. But for me, they were no different from any other group I've trained. If I'd have known that, I'd have had second thoughts. Actually, do you know what? What? I'm going to stop training them. Can you do that? It's still a free country, right? So after a few weeks' notice, I'll be off the hook. At least, I get to spend the summer here with you, painting. But I don't paint. No, you play. I paint. It's my passion. And you can be my muse. Is that what you say to all the girls? No. Never. Hello, you two lovebirds. Everyone's going to bed, so you better come back inside or you'll catch cold, or worse. And that's how Dana pipped everyone at the post. It only took one look for Leon to fall head over heels in love with her. And it didn't take much for Dana to fall for him. Love at first sight, you might say. The whole band stayed at the chalet all summer long. Then, I suppose, everyone went their own sweet way. Did you ever see any of them again? Oh, no. What about Dana and Leon? They two went their own ways, I guess. And that, Fraulein Walker, is all there is to it. Do you know if she's still alive? 
can't be sure, but I doubt it. It was a lifetime ago, Fraulein Walker. Where do you think she might be if she were? No idea. Things went from bad to worse after that summer. Not to mention half the town was razed during the war. Did Dana leave anything here? Any documents or anything that might help me find where she went? Not that I know of. But I suppose there might be... In father's old coffer. Must still be in the loft. Junta bought it from him that summer, so she could use it to store her precious filming gear. She was supposed to come back for it, but she never did. If there is anything that can help you, it will be in there. So feel free to look around the refuge by yourself if you like, even though I don't think anyone managed to open the coffer since Junta left. Thank you, Demoiselle Lenny. Thank you so much. What now, Fraulein? I was just about to doze off. I'll be going then. Maintaining the refuge must be a huge job. As tough as Lenny is, I hope she has some help when she needs it. Dazzling up here. I can see why they call it the Silberspiegel. Silber means silver, and Spiegel is mirror. The silver mirror. It certainly lives up to its name.
dazzling up here. I can see why they call it the Silberspiegel. Silber means silver, and Spiegel is mirror. The silver mirror. It certainly lives up to its name. The mechanism is blocking it. to put in a coin. Typical. I have to put in a coin. Typical. The authorities have closed the path due to excavation works on the other side of the mountain. Suits me. I wasn't exactly planning on climbing a mountain today anyway. That must lead to the other side of the circus. That must lead to the other side of the circus. That must lead to the other side of the circus. Now, Fräulein, I was just about to doze off. About Junta's coffer. What about it? Where did the coffer in the loft come from? In fact, Father made it himself during the long winter evenings. He wanted something more elegant and solid than the old family coffer where he kept the takings. So he made the one upstairs, thanks to the techniques he learned when he worked in the Vorlberg factory in Valadilene. Valadilene in France? 
That's right. The price Junta paid was equivalent to a month's worth of takings. Money well spent, though, because it was built like a mountain fortress. I'll be going then. That must be the piano Dana played on the night she met Leon. The night Lenny told me about. That must be the piano Dana played on the night she met Leon. The night Lenny told me about. That must be the piano Dana played on the night she met Leon. The night Lenny told me about. Reminds me of Hans's automatons in Valadilen. Reminds me of Hans's automatons in Valadilen. A mechanical stove. Seen better days. Hm. Another object with the look of the Varlberg workshop.
a mechanical stove. Seen better days. Hmm. Another object with the look of the Varlberg workshop. Lenny's father must have made this stair lift to help her get up and down the stairs. Must have taken him many hours. It's touching when you think about it. Lenny's father must have made this stair lift to help her get up and down the stairs. Must have taken him many hours. It's touching when you think about it. A mechanical stove. Seen better days. Hm. Another object with the look of the Varlberg workshop. Ah, I see I'm not the only one stuck here. <laughs> Ah, pull up a seat, and together we can moan about being stuck here. Thank you, but I have things to do. I hope you can stay until this evening, at least. In London, they have the changing of the guard. Here we get the changing of the colors. I guarantee it's worth the wait. Hmm? English? American, actually. Oh, seeing as you've come so far, then... Besides... It's always nicer to be stranded in good company. From Belgium, myself, on a world climbing tour. Stranded? Didn't you know? They've closed the Teufelskragen. That's the path they call the Devil's Pass. So that's what all the fuss is about. All down to climate change. You mean the thaw, right? Made the pass too dangerous to climb and... apparently resulted in a morbid discovery. Oh? Bodies of resistance fighters, killed while leading refugees to Switzerland. Frozen solid. Resistance fighters? You mean... frozen since the Second World War? Uh, that's what the paper says. Is that what the tent's for? It's a temporary chapel of rest that the rescue team made while waiting for the bodies to be airlifted out. I see. I guess there's no reason to disrespect the departed, even after all these years. I only hope all this sudden interest from excavationists puts an end to the stupid rumors that a strange creature haunts the Zilberspiegel. Otherwise, you can be sure, as soon as the old lady pops her clogs, this place will become run over by those infernal tourists. <laughs>